Black Panther soundtrack looks like great. Yeah, I should bring it. I think I'm going to watch it today. I should watch it. You haven't seen it yet? <laughs> I haven't oh. had anyone to go with because I've been busy. Anthony, I'll go with you. No, it means you me. I'd much rather not. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with my cousins, so I don't know if you're... Okay, are you fluent in Spanish? Yeah, are you fluent in Spanish? Are you fluent in Spanish? C. Center. No. C. Negusta. No. Negusta El Espanol. Should I say that? Be like, it's sports for sports, Glenn move. No. 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 Okay. But that would be They're going to like shred his transcript and everything. <laughs> yeah. Alright, all right. Glenn move. Good morning, Ephrata. I'm Sam. And I'm Edwin. And today is Friday, February 23rd. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. You were in that frame. Are they good in that one? Mm -hmm. Okay. I thought you were talking to Nate, and I was like, how? How bad is the frame? <laughs> I'm just that bad. Like, I'm just bad. <laughs> <laughs> you think right on in the frame. Woo! Can you say Pickle Rick? Because I feel like that's... Pickle Rick! Great. As we close out National FFA Week, check the hallways for anyone that may be dressed creatively in celebration of FFA. We hope you enjoyed celebrating National FFA Week with us. Now for our last Ag Fact for the week. FFA membership is 540,379 with 7,489 chapters in all 50 states, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. Happy National FFA Week. That's a lot of people. Attention, all first semester Wood Tech students, if you have not yet picked up your side table from the Wood Lab, please make arrangements to do so. <coughs> Thank you. Now over to Seth Ballinger with the news. Yeah, what is that picture? <laughs> it's good. That's a... Reverend e Evangelical Billy Graham died this week on Wednesday, February 21st. He was known for spreading the ideals and tenets of Christianity around the country and around the world through his sermons, which were mass broadcast on live television to, to tens of thousands of viewers. I can't talk to that. Not only did he preach to over 210 million people in his lifetime, but he also advised 12 presidents and was respected by many whose lives were changed because of his speaking. He was 99 years old when he passed, and his legacy and love will live on forever. On this day in 1945, the American flag was raised over Iwo Jima by men from a company of the Marines. During the incredibly bloody battle, Marines took the highest and most strategic ground on the Pacific Island, and photographer Louis Lowry was able to be with them and record the event. Later, a photographer with the Associated Press named, named Joe Rosenthal was able to photograph the raising of the second flag, meaning we have the iconic image of the flag raising over Iwo Jima today. It became the most re reproduced image. Is that not the, that's not the image. Dang it. <laughs> it became the most reproduced image in history, and he won a Nobel Prize for it. Why didn't we put that image on here? Hey boy! <sighs> anyway, now that Mr. Myers and Chandler with lunch. I just Googled the battle, that was the first <laughs> picture I found. So I'm really actually kind of annoyed that the other one wasn't the first one. Like you would think it would be. Like the of them, like, raising actually. Oh. Sorry. That was fun. That's fine. Mr. Myers and Mr. Bishaw. <laughs> I don't know when this intro ends. I guess that doesn't matter. Uh, just wait till next there's week. Like <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah there's, there are words that come up. It's okay. just like not new sports. In sports resorts, boys basketball won against Northern Europe yesterday, 46 to 43. With X hitting clutch free throws at the end of the game. Attention all student athletes that have signed up for spring sports. All physical and research forms are due in the athletic office as soon as possible. There will be a girls lacrosse mandatory player slash parent meeting on Wednesday, February 28th. Attention all athletes who plan on competing in the spring track and field team. There will be a preseason team meeting on Monday, February 26th at 2.45 in the high school cafeteria. Please plan on attending this meeting. This week, there is an annual wiffle ball tournament at the middle school, and tune into the Olympics for the first time ever. The men's curling team will compete for a gold medal. 
They beat Canada, who has won the past three gold medals for curling. Let's practice our curling right now, Jenna. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. That was pretty good. Nice shot. Up for an adventure? Now back to the main deck. <laughs> Up for an adventure? Willing to try something you never have before? Go on a blind date with a book this February. The entire month there will be books covered, some with topics, genres, and minimal information on the outside available for checkout. For every blind date you check out, you'll be entered to win a free drink at the Media Center. Fall in love with a good book. Attention juniors, Millersville University will be hosting a college fair on Thursday, March 15th. This fair attracts approximately 150 different colleges, universities, and trade school representatives. This is a great opportunity for 11th graders to interact with and learn about different colleges. The itinerary includes attending the college fair, having lunch in the Millersville Dining Hall, and taking a campus tour. If you are interested in attending, please print out the field trip permission packet from Schoology. Space is limited, so don't delay. That's it for us today, Efforta. Have a screwdriver day, Ethan Brubaker. Wait on my curling. There you go. You guys put the curling thing at the end after you printed the script and then I was going to have it on the first.